What's up guys? Welcome back to another episode of Mind Something. If you're new here, my name is Jake and in today's video, I thought we would take a moment to go over my overclock settings on the 3000 series NVIDIA GPUs on Nexa. So, do me a favor, hit that like and hit the subscribe if you haven't already. Let's go ahead and take a look at our rigs here. So, I currently have three different rigs running on Nexa. We've got Alderaan, which is all 3070 Ti's. We've got Naboo, which is 3070s and 3080s, and then we've got Tatooine, which is a mix of 3080 Ti, a 3070 Ti, a 3080, a 3070, and a 3060 Ti. Uh, pretty much everything in here are all Founders Editions. So there is a hash rate table that you can find in the Discord in Nexa, and I'm not going to go over how to mine this coin because Chump Change XD did an excellent job of covering that, not only how to mine it, but how to set up the wallet. And I'll leave a link to his video in the description below. Uh, but as far as overclocks are concerned, I just wanted to show you guys what I have discovered so far and see if you guys have any better overclocks out there that you want to share. So anyways, going back to the rig here, Alderaan with all the 3070 Ti's, we're sitting at about... 38 mega hash at about 185 watts and you can see my settings here we're sitting at 250 on the core and negative 2000 on the memory power limit set at 185 now let's compare that against this hash rate table that we see here so we've got a few different 3070 ti's one of these i put in here uh, which would be the 39.1 mega hash with a core offset of 300 memory at negative 2000 at 185 watts and as you can see efficiency at 0.2116 uh, also we've got some better overclocks as far as efficiency is concerned here but the big question is is it worth the trade-off to gain a little bit of efficiency and lose the mega hash so for example uh, this 3070 ti 28.6 mega hash at 110 watts is an efficiency rating of 0.26, which is the best one on here, but we are getting uh, roughly almost 10 mega hash less, about nine mega hash less. And on a scale of 40 mega hash, you know, that, that's roughly a 25% decrease for only uh, roughly about a 10% increase in efficiency. So depending on your power cost, it may or may not be worth the trade-off to you. Anyways, let's uh, let's continue here. So the 3070 Ti's, some of them can go over 300 on the core offset, but several of them could not. So for example, this GPU-1 did not like anything over 275 or it would crash. And then this last one here, GPU number 5, doesn't really like anything over 275 to 285 so your cards may be like mine they may be a little picky uh, but if you've just got one gpu i would suggest starting out at 300 to see how stable it is and how long it'll run if you can get it to run for longer than let's say 24 hours maybe try pushing it up to 315 maybe 330 possibly even up to 350 uh, but keep in mind, you want to allow, you know, your your power limit to compensate for that high of a core. You know, if you're trying to go below 185 watts on a 3070 Ti, then you're probably going to get some crashes if you exceed, we'll say, about 265 to 300 on the core. Anyways, going back to the next rig here, let's take a look at Naboo. So on a 3080, we're getting, on this particular rig, about 45 mega hash, depending on the GPU. Now I have another rig that I'm getting about 46 and a half mega hash at the same power. So, you know, silicone lottery. But uh, also on these, I'm sitting at about 200 on the core. You'll notice negative 2000 I have on every single 30 series GPU. I have tried everything that you see in this table here and for me it just negative 2000 is the way to go i don't know why 
Uh, I'm not seeing the same hash rates or efficiency as other people that have added to the spreadsheet. Uh, but negative 2,000, I mean, I have tried, let's say, 1950, 1900, 1800, all the way down to 1,000. I've tried all the way up to 3,000. Even if you go to 2,001, it does actually make a significant difference. It's like negative 2,000 is the perfect sweet spot. And that goes across the board for any of my 30 series GPUs. So, you know, if you've got uh, a different experience, please leave a comment down below. Uh, so just to continue on, the 3070, 28.42 mega hash at 114 watts. You'll notice I've got the power limit set to 115 on this one, set to 135 on this one, and just getting slightly more mega hash. And this one also set to 135 and just slightly more mega hash than that one. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look at Tatooine. So we've got a variety of cards here. So a 3060 Ti, 3070, 3080 Ti, 3080, 3070, and 3070 Ti. And as you can see, this 3080 is performing quite well at 46.37 mega hash at 200 watts with a core offset of 200, negative 2000, and a power limit of 200. Our 3080 Ti sitting at 47.44, uh, power limit set at 230, core offset at 250, and again, negative 2000 on the memory. If we go back and compare this 3080 Ti to what they have, uh, looks like the highest is 54 mega hash. I just don't see the point in going up that high on your wattage this this one they also have the core offset at 220 and negative 2000 on the memory power limit set at 209 so that's pretty good right there i would say comparable to mine sitting at 47.44 at 230 watts looks like their overclocks are a little bit better we might try that one as well Anyways, 3060 Ti is sitting at about 24 mega hash at 100 watts and sitting at 200 on the core, negative 2000 on the memory, and 100 on the power limit. So I'm very curious if you guys have any better overclocks than these on the 30 series. I would love to see them. And as far as AMD cards are concerned, my 6600 rig is currently on CASPA because we have some varying hash rates on Nexa. Uh, some of them are 4 mega hash, some of them are 7 mega hash, some of them are 15 and a half mega hash, and they're all using the exact same uh, settings. So, not really sure what's going on there. I'm hoping that Wild Rig can figure that out, and perhaps BZ Miner will have his version out in the near future. Anyways, that's all I got for this video, guys. Hope you enjoy the content. Do me a favor, hit that like and hit the subscribe. And if you've got better overclocks, please leave them down below, and I will see you guys on the next one.